Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading down to 139, NASDAQ off 123, S&P's off 21. That being said, folks, get aboard, man. All aboard the night train. This thing's going to go green. Uh, it's been trying to bust down all day long. Let's get over and take a look at the S&P. I, I love how this market's setting up, man. This is what bottoms are made out of, folks, okay? What happens is that you go down, you go down. And there's been no more sellers, man. They couldn't bust it down. This morning at 9 o'clock, it took them an hour. And if you're trading, well, I'm trading futures, okay? The bottom line, it took them an hour to bust the low. And the, the first low, they get busted, folks, okay? It's really cool. I'm going to show it. I'll show it when I do the thing, uh, when I get on the air, too. You're going to see that the bottom line is that this baby here had only 47,000 contracts versus it was busting the low that had 80,000, okay? So the real deal here is that each and every time that the S&Ps got up to that 37.89, it hasn't been able to handle it. The buy that we just had, you had an expansion there of 45,000. My take is this thing's gonna go green. And we'll see if it's a, the good old dollar. So the dollar, one top side, stayed top side in a big way. Uh, bottom line, you know, we'll see how this baby shakes out. But my take on a bigger basis is that we just came into a bottom. Bottom line, market wants higher price. I, I really like how, so when you keep testing bottoms, folks, okay, and there's no more sellers, like, if we were going to go lower, we should have been lower by like 100 S&P points. There's no, there's no more sellers down there, man. That's the bottom line. And I know everyone's nervous, but that's my take on it. We take a look at the gold contract. What do we have with the gold contract, folks? Bottom line with the gold contract. Now, we don't have a lot of movement, but what we do have is you have over 200, 227,000 contracts. That's what I want to see as you're pushing into these levels. That's telling me that, guess what? That the dollar is going to fail, okay? Because if gold wants to go higher, that dollar has to fail. If the market wants to go higher, that dollar's got to fail, you know? And I think it has to do with the aspect that, you know, the market realizes, and I'm not looking for highs or anything. I'm looking for consolidation. That's what I'm looking for. I think we'll consolidate right back up to the last highs, see how it handles it, go back and forth, chop around, drive everyone crazy. You know what the market's job is, right? to take away the most amount of money, the way most amount of people in the least amount of time, most efficient mechanism in the world that does that, guess what? We're going higher. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.